my car just locked. Hey, what's up everybody? Today is a very, very special video. As you can read by the title, today I will be giving you guys a full tour inside exterior and exterior of my brand new Mazda CX-3 GT automatic with 151 horsepower. I just picked it up two days ago and I thought, let me show you guys my new car. Now, before this video starts off, a massive thank you to the dealer for letting me able to literally pick this car up Saturday because this was actually not the car that I was going to get initially, but short deal, I called up the dealer Friday and I said, listen, hey, I, I just picked up my license. I wanna go check the car uh, tomorrow instead of Wednesday. Tells me that he sold the car. So I was like, hmm, great. So I'm like, this one was on my radar. So without further ado, relax, sit back. Next video, we'll be gonna driving it. I'm thinking of either doing a POV, driving and talking, but without further ado, let's sit back and relax and let me show you my car. Not brand new, but my first very big car. Here we go, we have my car, a Mazda CX-3 GT. I don't know how to describe the color, but it is insane. So let's go straight to the rims. Beautiful, I think 16 or 18 inch rims. And this is not a standard Mazda. This one is very, very fast. We got the beautiful lights. Look at that. I'm gonna start it up or just now. This is a weird spot. The indicator is on this spot. I know in the CX-5 you have it like this, or actually some of them actually have it on the bottom. Anyways, yes, my license will not be blurred because I don't give a shit. This is what the front of the Mazda looks like. It is an SUV, and the reason why I got this car is because I wanted it. It was in my price budget. I could have bought an Audi, but it didn't have the options. This is a full-on full board option. Got the other side. We got the front. It's got a very nice, like, I think front split diffuser, sort of, I guess, on there. Obviously, the tires. I'm still contemplating if I did it or not. I don't remember. We got the beautiful side skirts, and this is one of the features that is really nice. It is very, some would say basic, I guess, but I like it. Got the mirrors with the lightning. Oh, this bad boy is perfect. I mean, look, it is not over exaggerated in size. It is the perfect size for a, I guess you could say, small SUV. We go through the back, and you, you can see it's got a little, little spoiler. Doesn't really matter that much. This is the antenna, it looks like a shark fin. Very unique. I don't know if you guys can see this, but look, very, very cool. Got a very nice dark back tint. We got the Mazda logo. Oh, actually, I just found out it's debedged. <laughs> I, did, I didn't even notice that. But I've been driving at the Horn Tire weekend. Look, the exhausts are something I've never seen on a Mazda CX-3 before. These are not regular standard. The guy told me that this previous owner spent a shitload of money on this car. Beautiful, beautiful. We're not gonna be test driving it today. I just wanna show you the exterior. Beautiful exhaust. And obviously this is how you tank. You can't open this because you gotta go open it inside. So I'm gonna open it up right now. Oh, I locked it. That's another thing. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention this is for rain and it's really, really nice tint inside. We're gonna go open up. This is one of two keys. Ooh, this is my own car, baby. All right. Oh, I think I am going to maybe slightly tint this. I don't know if I'm allowed to tint, but I'm just gonna see. Very nice. This reminds me a lot of a, a Porsche or a, a Jeep type of interior. Got the nice leather carbon. These are for all the windows. Obviously this is auto. This is, actually I don't know what this is. This is for left and right mirror. Very, very nice, very, very slick. Look, it's like a Mercedes, but this thing has way more options. We're gonna go inside the car right now. I'm gonna also rev the bad boy just now. Got all the lights on, I mean, just look at this. Imagine you're the passenger. You got this beautiful heads up display. Actually, you know what? Fuck it, I'm gonna start the car for you guys right now. Just now, just now. I'm so excited, man. The steering wheel is really nice. I'm still debating if I'm going to do anything with it. Obviously got the carbon here. <coughs> Woo! The horn there. Got Bose surrounding system, everything. Look at that. Indicators, light, volume. It is absolutely gorgeous. And why did I get a automatic? Because I just want comfort. I can drive a manual or stick shift. I actually love it. But for long distances, I just prefer an automatic. So, got a mirror as well. And it's actually, I think, an American version, this one, because it's got like this, this, and that. Obviously, got this beautiful, so King Keegan can look at his beautiful face. Oh, look at that. We love that, don't we? Got some really nice lightning. And the interior, like I mentioned, is insane. Hazard lights. The interior is something else. Now, why a Mazda? Honestly, man, price class, budget, everything, it has everything. Some of this, automatic. Uh, it's got sport mode, I've been testing that out, that fuck go. It's gotta be careful, navigation, music. Let's start this bad boy up. Woo! Oh yeah, I gotta put it in reverse. Because it keeps on bitching and moaning. 
It's very annoying when it does that. Yeah, so we're gonna put it in park. I'm gonna rev it for you guys right now. Let's put it in sport mode. So it is in sport right now. I mean, how cool is that, right? I'm gonna turn it off. Awesome entertainment. Now, in the Audis, for example, you can actually let it go down, but this is one that I think permanently stays. I mean, look at it. Air conditioning. You know, actually, I'll be honest, I only just really seen this. This is where all like, the information is. That's my map. And this is basically the front. I nearly forgot to mention, but it's also got flippers. I have to get used to this because I've never used them in a car before. God damn, the pollution in there. Anyways, we're gonna close this door. And we're gonna go onto the back. Did it just, dude, did this car really just lock itself? Oh no, it didn't. I mean, the back is really nice. Again, it goes through arm, um, it's got the carbon, it's got it all. I mean, just look, it's got the jacket here. I mean, you can imagine being a passenger and just sitting in the back. I mean, I got the chair really, really more back. But it's not like anyone's gonna be in this car. Maybe my sister soon got this little mirror at the back. I mean, it is a nice, spacious SUV. I'm really glad and happy with this car. Um, yeah, it cost a lot as well. Obviously, for a first-time car, you can check out my license. It was brand new, thirty-five thousand. I paid twenty-one thousand, which is obviously it's a lot of money. Maybe also not the smartest, but it's also like, hey, I have not really ever been able to enjoy my earnings except from buying the tiny house sold that let's enjoy it and a car first time is something special and a car like this i'm eager to drive for five to seven years it's beautiful and it's locking itself up wow that is so cool i actually don't want it to lock itself up it's just, i got a use to it but the audi has it as well i think i can open up the trunk let me just see how this works i'm not really good with trunks oh there you go it's actually quite a spacious trunk it's not exaggerated and that's what i like and as weird as it may sound, the tailgates slightly remind me of Volvo, but yet again, I'm glad I picked this car, not the Volvo, man, to be honest. Its height is great, it is comfortable, it drives great, and the transmission gear is surprisingly very, very smooth. Now, I had checked also other cars in the price class. Mercedes, you only get a pop-up screen, you don't get much more. It is a Mercedes, understandable, this is all-wheel drive, so 4x4. So if I get stuck in snow, I got 4x4, but if you're stuck in snow, you're fucked regardless at the end of the day. It didn't take me very long to find this car. A Mazda, a friend of my mom actually drives a Mazda, I think she has a Mazda 3, a smaller car. Hers is like 15 years old, but it drives smooth, I like the car, I'm very glad I was able to get this car, and obviously, very glad I was able to afford it, because as I've said, this is quite a... A car to begin with as a first time owner. It is unique, it is interesting. Do I find it scary driving this car? Absolutely not, because here's the thing if you're scared to drive a car, you shouldn't have a license in the first place. I had to drive all the way from North Brabant all the way to, to Zeeland for two and a half hours, and, and I gotta say, what a unique way to drive independently on the road. It's different when you get your license, then you have nobody sitting next to you telling you what to do, this and this and that. I still have to get used to the car a little bit, but so far, I really like it. I also forgot to mention, I am sick again, so that's why I, I have these cuts so often in the video. But anyways, this upcoming week, Friday, I'm going to go to my brother's house. And then afterwards, I'm going to go to Brendan. I'm going to go take the boy for a spin to Mackie D's because I haven't seen him in a few weeks. I've seen him last on New Year's Eve, but this was his video. The next video will be a POV of me driving the car, testing it, revving it, driving it. And it's going to be very, very cool. And the nice thing about this is the amount of content diversity I can make with a car. You know, the freedom, the independency. It's just amazing. Now, obviously, a license is something that I have to be very careful with because it can get taken away from me in, in a moment of matter. But trust me, I'm very careful. I'm not going to go speeding in a place that I know there's cameras or there's police. If you're going to speed, at least do it somewhere secluded where you know all right, there's nobody here. There's no cameras. Then it's fine, but still, I wouldn't risk it neither. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you like my car. I've seen some negative people on my Instagram saying, oh, what a shit car. Well, what do you want me to do about it? It's my car. It's not yours at the end of the day. I like the car, and to be honest, I don't care about your opinion. Just get your license first. If you ain't got a license, you shouldn't even be the one talking about another man's car.
You gotta get your license first. Yeah, I know it sounds cocky, but it's the truth. You can't speak negative or about anyone's car if you ain't even got a license yourself. So let that sink in quickly. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. My parents have been sending me all the garden way to pack up packages this weekend, but it's nice. So yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I'll check you later, man. Peace out.